there has been an explosion of AI models available to writers over the past two years. But while many of these models can be adapted for fiction and storytelling, Novel AI is a model specifically built to tell stories. And in today's video, we're going to look at the basics of Novel AI. Welcome to the Future Fiction Academy, where we're working to keep authors and creatives informed of the latest AI information so we can work together to further our careers in an AI-friendly environment and put the control back in the creator's hands. I'm Stacy, one of the instructors at the Future Fiction Academy, and today we're looking at novel AI. Before we jump in, be sure to like and subscribe so you can hear about all our new videos and you won't miss a thing. Novel AI is a writing software that has trained its own LLM model to help writers and storytellers. And their models are unmoderated, which means they can write not safe for work content, and they do it pretty well. First, let's look at pricing. All the pricing plans have access to the latest model, Kera, but the biggest difference between each of the paid models is their context window, or how much of the story they can look back on. For $10 a month, you get a little over 3,000 tokens of memory, $15 gives you 6,000 tokens, and $25, in addition to the higher context window of over 8,000 tokens, also gives you early access to any newer models and features and as they're released, as well as additional credits for image generation and AI model training. So let's go ahead and jump in. Here's the dashboard for Novel AI. In addition to writing stories, you can generate images and use different text-to-speech models, which we won't be getting into in this particular video. You can always go back and work on stories you've already created, import a story, or for this video, we'll just start a new story. You can start in text adventure mode, which is great for RPGs and role-playing games, or for us, we're gonna use the storyteller mode. So here's where we can start working on our story. We can choose our different AI models. Again, I said Kara is the newest, but you can choose some of the legacy models as well. You can change the style, such as text adventure, prose augmenter, or some others. You can create a preset, which will quickly adjust the style and how the AI generates. On Novel AI's Discord, the community has several that they've shared, and I'm using one of them now called ProWriter. But you can also create your own by changing the randomness, the output length, the repetition penalty, and save it as your own. Novel AI also gives you the ability to add memory or any information you'd like the AI to remember. For example, the genre or the basic premise. You can also create an author's note, so that will strongly influence the AI's output. For example, if you want it to maintain a certain tone or focus on certain events. And you can also use the lore book, which is all of the story information you can share and access inside of Novel AI. The lore book is an exciting and powerful feature, but unfortunately that is a video on its own. So we'll make one of those soon with advanced techniques for Novel AI. You can also view your story stats or export your story if you're finished. Now, Novel AI is a little different than some of the other models you might have used. With most other AI models, you're used to either sending it a prompt or having a back and forth conversation. Novel AI is set up to be a completion model, so it works best if you have a story starter or some text to work with and then it will complete it and continue writing from there. So let's take a look at how this works. I've copied the opening from Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice. And I'll just paste it here in the main area. And of course I can rename it. So now rather than giving it a prompt, I would simply click send and it will continue writing for here and it has continued writing, looking back and using the same characters and writing style as the previous text. And you can keep going, generating more and more of the story. 
Now let's say the story has taken a turn that you don't like, or you'd like to subtly direct Novel AI to go a different way. You can simply just change the previous text. And now it will continue writing using that information instead. Or if you'd like to change the course of the story in a bigger way, you can simply start writing new text and Novel AI will pick up from there. So as you can see, I've changed the ending. So let's see how it continues from here. And again, it picked up following those cues. And you can see which parts were written by Novel AI and which parts were mine based on the color of the text. Novel AI is in black, where I continued was in purple. Any changes I make are green, and the original pasted text is brown. Now, another option you have is to give Novel AI instructions. And you can do that using opening curly brackets. So now we have this box, which signals to Novel AI this isn't text or prose of the story, but information you want it to be included. So if we would like our Pride and Prejudice variation to take a very different turn, we can just send different information to Novel AI. So it's directed a story in a new way. So for someone that's a pantser, and likes to make up the story as they go along, for someone that wants to write not safe for work, or for anyone that wants to work with an AI model on a more micro level, sentence by sentence rather than long prompts, might find a perfect fit with novel AI. And like I said, there are a lot of more advanced features in novel AI, such as the lore book, which can help with your story as well. If you'd like to see those features in another video, be sure to comment below and let us know. And if you'd like to join us at the Future Fiction Academy, we would love to have you. We have live lessons, recorded content, resources, plus access to Rexy, our bleeding edge AI writing software. You can find the link in the description below, and we hope to see you in the next video.